Hey guys, this is Robonuts1 here, and I'm here to review, um, the mid-season finale of, Go of Gotham. Uh, this episode was really, really good. Um, probably perhaps one of my favourites so far. Um, in terms of the, in terms of the finales that, um, that have come out <coughs> the <coughs> the comic book genre. Um, this has to be my second favorite. Um, the reason why it's not my favorite is because um, we sort of knew where this. No, um, forget what I said. Um, so in this episode, what. Wayne Manor is attacked and um, forcing Selina and Bruce to go on the run. And I love the acting between these two child actors. I love the interaction between Selina and Bruce. Um, these two, these two actors are gonna go far. Um, are, are gonna go far. Because the acting is just really, really good. In fact, their acting is better than the villain. Who, um... Who is sort of a comic book character, but I've forgotten the name of the comic book character. Um, she's the female Viper type assassin from Arkham Origins. If that means anything to anyone. Um, yeah. Um, I just thought the beginning of this episode, and the episode in general, was just really, really good. And I liked the focus as well on Catwoman's dual nature. Um, like Catwoman's, um, like Cat, uh, like the way Catwoman is, like she's not, she's, sort of like a villain, but not full villain. Um, and I, and I just really, really like that about the character. Um, we then, we then move on to Harvey Dent, um, in the next scene. And we get to see a different side to Alfred as well. Um, Alfred was really, really good in this episode. Um, he must have, like, some kind of military background. Um, because, um, the way he, the way he does things is, um, is really reminiscent of some kind of military background. Um, he's also a lot more willing to play the game of Gotham. Um, which is sort of like the Game of Thrones, but he's willing to play the game of Gotham in order to play, in order to protect Bruce Wayne. And I really, really like that. I, I really, really like the way that, um, Alfred, um, reacted in this episode. I also love the interaction between Harvey, um, between, um, between Harvey and Alfred. Um, the two characters were just really, really good. Um, but back to the interaction between Bruce and Selina. Um, I am a huge fan of Catwoman and Batman being together, and in this, in this episode we get to actually have that, we get to see these two characters interact with one another. Um, 
And I so want um, this show to bring these two characters together in some way. Um, because I love the interaction between Bruce and Selina. I, I could buy that um, this version of Selina could be Bruce's Lois Lane. Um, you know, and that these two characters will end up together in some way. And maybe have the Huntress character. Who knows? But yeah, I just... As I say, I really love the interaction between um, Selina and Bruce Wayne. And we get to see the differing views that these two characters here have. The mutual respect that they have overall. Like, Catwoman lives in, uh, like, like, Selena lives in a very, very different world to Bruce Wayne. Um, and we can see that Selena treats everything like a game, because, because she's a child, you know. Children, um, the psychologies of these, um, two children is really interesting, but they are children at heart, um, and it's sort of like, um, they're playing a game, um, whilst all this chaos is going on around them, um, and like, the way Selena says, oh, well, do you want to kiss me, um, is so reminiscent of, of this game that they play. Um, and, and again, I just really, really like their, their interactions. Um, Falcone is, is also becoming, um, is also starting to realise, um, that he has a mole within his, within his crime family. Um, he goes after um, Penguin because of a bank attack seen in episode 9. And it leads to Falcone going on this war path. So it should be very interesting to see what happens. Um, what happens to... Um, what, hap what, ha what is the end result of all this is. Um, we, we, we also have a much, we, we, we also know that, um, the Wayne family death is a lot bigger than just, um, is, than just Lovecraft. Um, Lovecraft identifies several, um, inconsistencies within, um, within Wayne Towers. And it's going to be really, really interesting to find out um, who is behind the this death of the Wayne of the Waynes. Um, there's something bigger going on than um, than what we first realised, and I'm quite interested in that. And um, we also have a great Gotham sirens moment in this episode, um, between, um, Selena and Ivy. Um, Ivy's acting isn't really that great, um, but, but the way the scene plays out is really, really creepy, and I like that. I just don't think the actress sort of was that great, to be honest. Um, now, interestingly enough, it's where this, um, show leaves off. That's going to be the most interesting part. Um, Gordon finally, um, Gordon is, um, forced out of, um, of the police station. And is now acting as a guard in Arkham. And, and I think what we're going to see... It, is we're going to see the rise of the Jim Gordon we know for, for, 
from the comics. And and it's sort of paralleling what um what the penguin had to go through. You start at the very, very bottom and build yourself back up. And I think that's what Jim Gordon's doing. I think I, I think we're going to um I'm really looking forward to A seeing Arkham for the first time. And B I'm just I'm really interested in seeing the process that Jim Gordon is gonna go through to become Commissioner Gordon we know from the comics. Um guys, all in all, um this episode was just really, really intriguing and interesting and I really liked it. Um Great episode, um, and stay tuned for um, the next Gotham um, episode, um, which I'm not sure when Gotham next comes out, but I will definitely be doing a review for it. So I'm Rob and that's one here, I'm going to try and save my voice, so I'll see you guys all later, bye.